one that I like that I've used it kind of is the best of both worlds because it's it's really easy uh, to send out really short but it's also totally customized is just using her name and that's it and I've I got this from <laughs> Josiah one of our trainers Josiah when we were in St. Petersburg that was his opening message he got so many matches he had long hair at the time and uh, the, the Russians just love guys with long hair apparently he did way better than me and his message was just her name. Nothing else after that, just her name. I think he had a period at the end. I don't know if the period matters. I've also tried it with just the name dot, 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 and that's it. It actually works. It works pretty well. I can see that totally. I'm not really sure why, I guess, because it's like you see your name, right? It stands out. If, if you're looking at all these messages, like imagine you're a girl, you have hundreds of messages. Imagine you have 100, 100 messages a day. I don't know if girls actually get that many, but maybe they do. We do. 100 messages do. a day. They do. There you go. 100 messages a day. What's going to stand out? If you see your name, it's going to stand out, right? Beautiful, hey baby, that's not going to stand out. That's what every other guy is doing. Another one that's worked really well for me. Welcome to the Attractive Man Podcast, where we help men become better men. In these episodes, you'll discover how to improve your dating and relationships, how to break through your mental limits that are holding you back, and how to move through life with confidence and purpose. I'm your host, Matt Artisan. Matt Artisan here, and today I'm with two of our expert coaches at The Attractive Man, Lynn and Cal, who also happen to specialize in online dating and have helped a lot of clients get more matches and get more dates through online dating using Tinder, Bumble, and apps like that. And today we're gonna to talk about the first message that you should send because most guys send messages that are really lame, really boring, generic, and you gotta remember that women get tons and tons of messages a day. In fact, Lynn said she gets like hundreds a day and she doesn't reply to most of them because most of them are just generic and boring or too try hard because it's super frustrating. You match with a girl and you get all all excited wow she's so pretty and then you send her a message and she doesn't reply back and then that happens over and over and over again which is why a lot of guys just give up and they end up deleting tinder so we'll give you some actual examples word-for-word -word messages that you can use that you can send that will get women to reply back to you what are some horrible first messages that you've seen Lynn and uh, some great first messages that you've used, Cal. So uh, I don't know why it's, it's, we need to inform more, more people to, to let go of the high and how's it going? Happy Wednesday, happy hump day, plans this weekend? What'd you do this week? Please guys, no, no, no. Uh, again, I'm, um, let me help you kind of get into the mindset or, or in the, the shoes of, of what a woman's going through when she's opening these messages. Just like Cal referenced, she is probably connecting with hundreds of guys. She's getting so many messages. And I would say probably 80% of the messages that I have in, in, uh, in, those pro in those apps are, hey, how's it going? If a girl is truly going to respond with 100% effort to every single message that or person she's connected with that's asking her how's it going, and she's truly, truly answering it like, oh, it's going well, I'm feeling a little bit of anxiety because of what's going on with politics in the world, but I think I'm okay, I'm having an, an, a pretty decent day, my mom's doing well, which is good because she just fell and broke her arm, but yeah, I'm excited. If she were really to answer it the way that you're trying to get her to connect with you deeply, times 100, 200, however many messages she has, she wouldn't have time to sleep. It would be more than a full-time job. So the messages that are gonna entice her to respond are, are the messages that are gonna be fun for her to either read or to respond to. So this is when you wanna be the most different. This is when you've already gone through, you've impressed her with either your photos and or your profile. Now you gotta get her attention with the first message, it's critical. When it for me, when it comes to the first message, honestly, I I hate that question. Part part of me hates it just because it reminds me of when a guy asks me, "What do I say? Like, what's the first line I should say when I approach a girl?" And it doesn't really matter because after you say it, you have to have a conversation and you have to move the the conversation forward. Um, but with with Tinder, like I said earlier, it's a bit more important because you need to get her attention. 
That's literally it. You just need to get her attention. Um, I actually don't have like a go-to line that I go to because I find if I go, if I have a go-to line and I just send a mass text to everybody, then it's only going to hit like a certain target. While if I just look at someone's profile and I'm like, okay, this person does like stripping or something or like, oh, this, this person does this or that, then I'll try to make a funny comment based on what I see. But I don't ever send a message unless I feel like sending it. So if I get a Tinder match and I see her profile, I'm like, oh, this is interesting, but I can't think of anything to say in the moment. I don't worry about it. I just put it to the side and I have her in my head. I'm like, oh, she does this, she does that. And then while I'm going out through my day, something funny will come up and I'll send her a first message or whatever. I don't like that question. Honestly, most of the time I steal Matt's, <laughs> steal Matt's openers, like want to rob a bank or something. And it, and it works pretty well. Those are like my last resort. But yeah, what do you think, Matt? I like that. It's like custom tailing it to her. Although if you're messaging lots and lots of women, that, that's a little difficult. But I think in a sense, you're more likely to get a reply if it's custom tailored yet also stands out. If it's just like, I like that you're into surfing. That's cool. You know, that's custom tailored to her if she has a surfing picture, but it's not really going to really be that interesting. Um, and I like that you just kind of like let it simmer for a while because then you might have good ideas that just come to you. Yeah, so I'm all about efficiency even if like I send the same message to 50 girls um, and I only get let's say 10 replies but that copy and paste only took me like a minute or two. That is pretty efficient. I got a hey, 10 replies in a minute or two. I'm with you and uh, I just found out that if you're using a, a generic text, uh, not, not a good one copy and paste, but a generic one like, hey, how's it going? I just found out that this is, and this is a little bit depressing, but we want to tell you the truth. To every 113 messages, first messages that you send out, you'll probably get one response. So I'm, I'm with you, Matt. I'm all about efficiency. I think that it's a numbers game. I think that something that Cal said earlier about using Tinder as practicing your messaging and your, your banter and your back and forth, I'm all about that. So the advice that I like to give most of my clients is swipe yes on a lot of people, even people that you may not be someone that you normally would go after because it's a numbers game and it's a great opportunity to just practice connecting, practice different types of, of, of uh, chemistry and connection with different types of people. And when you're swiping us on a lot of people, to take time and customize it would take a, a huge amount of effort. I think that if something in her profile or her bio or her photo stands out, then absolutely yes, say something. But if you're really customizing every single one, it might take, might take a lot of time. I'm all about the the one-liners. Uh, one map that I that you have, which I love, is you're not crazy, right? That's a great one because she needs to qualify. She needs to either address it, confirm it, or deny it. But uh, one that I love, and I, I give this one to my clients a lot, is your picks say quite a lot, Lynn, or whatever her name is. Your picks your picks say quite a lot, blank. And why that works is because we're human beings. We all want to know what other people think and of what us. What does that mean? Your picks say a lot. A lot of good, a lot of bad. What, what are you saying, right? And so that's really gonna get her attention. Uh, another one is, is, hey, I might be wrong, but you look like someone worth getting to know. Now that's a little bit of push and pull, right? Because it's like, hmm, I'm kind of interested, but I haven't quite decided yet. So if you copy and paste those, it doesn't really matter what her bio says or what her, her pictures say, that's very efficient. So that in terms of a numbers game, that's, that's my favorite. If something does pop out at you and stand out, or let's say that you've been to some really obscure restaurant in Kiev, in Ukraine, you know, and, and you're swiping in the US, and you're like, oh my gosh, you, you've been to that restaurant in Kiev? I did too. So of course, you know, make that more customized. Another one that's worked really well for me is just want to hear a secret, question mark. That's good. They always say, yeah, what's the secret? And then the follow-up that I use is, I kind of have a crush on this girl and then I describe her. So I've now gotten a reply back, so now it becomes customizable. So I look at her pictures and kind of describe her. I kind of have a crush on this girl who loves surfing and has blue eyes, 
but shh, S-H-H-H-H-H, don't tell her. That works pretty good, because then, then it's a role play. And then one I use in Asia that <laughs> works pretty well is, don't be mad, but are you a lady boy? Do they get offended when you ask that? Oh yeah, yeah, they get offended, which it's a compliment. I mean, the lady boys usually <laughs> look more attractive than, which is sad. Yeah, so that actually, yeah, that works pretty well. Yeah, because you're emotionally triggering them and you're getting their attention, so they're definitely going to respond, right? And then after that, you just build rapport. What's your, after you do the first message, like, what is the purpose of Tinder? Like, are we trying to, like, especially, like, during the corona, for example, are we trying to get them on, like, video chat? Are we trying to get them on Instagram? Like, what's the end goal here? Because I find that a lot of guys don't have an intention when they're messaging girls on Tinder, and they're kind of just, like, having a conversation, and it doesn't go anywhere. The girl gets bored. And I find that if you're on Tinder, you're not even a human being until you're off Tinder. So once I get her on text, once I get her on Instagram, then I'm a real person in her life. But before that, I'm kind of just like this guy on this site that's just like messaging her. I think the goal of Tinder is to get her off of Tinder as soon as possible, which for me is usually the second or third message. Second or third message, no more than that. It's not about having a conversation. I mean, think about it, you're a high value guy. Always have that mindset, you're high status. Is a high status guy gonna be talking back and forth on Tinder forever? No, he knows he's awesome, he's gonna get her off of Tinder. He knows she's attracted. If she writes back, there's some interest there. You can probably get her phone number or get her on another platform like Instagram or Facebook. And, I, and Instagram, Facebook, and obviously texting is, it has the same, Capability is Tinder in that you're messaging back and forth, but you're in a different category now. That's the point. You're putting yourself into a, a closer, more intimate category. Like texting, she probably only texts friends and guys she's interested. Friends, family, and guys she's interested. If you're on Instagram, I mean, it maybe is a little bit more broad than that. But the point is, it's it's not just every horny guy in the world anymore. Unless she's an Instagram model and she has 100,000 followers. That's a little different. By the way, guys, if you want Lynn to personally help you one-on-one -on -one and review your dating profile, your online profile, and review your pictures and tell you which pictures are great, which pictures are working for you, and which pictures are pushing women away that you need to eliminate, and what kind of pictures you need to go out and take, as well as critique your bio, and your first messages that you're sending out help you craft a new bio and a much better first message, then make sure to click the link in the description. I'm gonna put a link for a full profile online dating makeover with Lynn because having a, not just a woman, but a, a female dating coach who's an expert at online dating review your profile is absolutely invaluable. So take advantage of that and check out that link in the description. And listen guys, if you want to be trained by myself, Lynn or Cal, then make sure to check out our bootcamp schedule. We'll put a link down in the description and also hop on a free breakthrough call with one of our team members to see if you qualify for live coaching and we'll also give you a ton of value on that call. That link is also in the description. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more dating tips and click that bell notification icon because we have a lot of awesome videos coming your way, including in-field video breakdowns. We're actually approaching live women and breaking down the entire interaction. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Matt Artisan and send me a DM. I would love to chat with you. And leave a comment down in the description. Let us know what you thought of this video. Maybe other things that have worked really well for you when it comes to online dating so you can help other guys out because we can all learn from each other. Or things that you're struggling with when it comes to online dating or any style of dating and we can make a video about that. My name is Matt Artisan with Cal and Lynn from the Attractive Man team, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.